Hello my friends, this is Simone with a scrapbooking process video for stuck sketches. This is the sketch that my friend Laura designed and this is the layout that I created from this sketch. And I am showing you the photos that I'm going to scrapbook here and the materials that I pulled. I really loved that dark forest um, paper and that is where I'm starting from. I'm actually um, scrapbooking f a photo of my two sons when we celebrated Christmas in the forest with their um, preschool and I am gutting this paper because I want to use this as a frame or a border on my layout and I'm going to cut down the paper that I'm going to create the layout on. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use a well, cream or pattern paper, um, cardstock or pattern paper, but I really um, thought I would go with this. This is actually the back side of a pattern paper that I didn't really particularly care for, and it was this, it had this hue of creamy vanilla color that I liked for this layout, so I used it. And most some of these bits are from the Coco Daisy November scrapbooking kits like this uh, paper here this was I think it, yeah it should have been in there in their November kit that was the one that looked very um, wintry um, Christmassy and then and I'm backing those photos with this paper and I'm also using Pink Fresh Studio December Days. However, this paper is the only thing that I'm using from here. The the one that's in the back there with the trees, with the birch trees, is a Coco Daisy exclusive. And then I have packaging and another Coco Daisy exclusive that came in the planner kits. I really like that paper, but I just could not make it work. And so I'm gonna going to take it off in a few seconds. I'm just, I had to leave parts of this in so that you could see where I struggled. I I really liked that vellum too. It came, I think, in a, if I'm not mistaken, it came in a Studio Calico Project Life kit several years ago. So I added these layers behind my photos and I really like how they look. I don't really like that tree paper in the background. So I am, instead of working on the layers even more, I am working on sticking the things down that I know I want to have on that, um, I, that I want to have. This is actually packaging from the, from print, pretty little studio. I purchased several of their items for my two girls on a budget video or collaboration with Anna and those were Christmas themed and one was lined and the other one had a Christmas song on there and I really like the way they looked. The black and white brought the right, I don't know, balance into this very brownish dark uh, layout that I decided to just go for it and yeah so the pink paper I really like I want to use it but again I'm still not sure about the rest and then when so I have this this is also a leftover piece of the Coco Daisy kit it's a wood grain and that one looks really nice in this cluster too and then I'm I'm debating if I want to have those trees, not the dark, but then I see this uh, music paper and that works really well. It it picks up on the color of the photos and I could just trim it down to a 6x6 six six and so it works. Okay, I'm gluing down the top part of the layers or the whole photo cluster layer thingy here. Um, and I'm actually with my layers instead, except for I added, I think, another one in. I'm sticking really close to the um, sketch. Man, why is it so hard to concentrate on what I'm saying? So I'm sticking very close to the sketch in terms of placement of the um, 
the strips and the papers because they are so close together that they they need the tension and the balance that is actually given by the sketch so why do i want why why am i going to um, try different things when i can just copy it from there the only thing that i didn't use is the banner shaped stripe now i'm working on my title because i'm not so sure what i'm going to do with the rest okay so i pulled out several different alphas i really liked the top one but i didn't have enough letters for that so i'm i went with the pink fresh studio december days alpha and i like that and then so i decide i'll put this off to the side since i know what i'm going to use and where the title is going to be and now i am going to work on my uh, background so I'm sticking down this layer because on the sketch you can see that the stitching line actually goes through and this is where I actually should have glued the paper to my um, background there I'm using color colorings this is a chocolate brownie I think it is called and then a vibes in glorious day because you know I'm on the Shimmers design team and I'm not telling you this because I want to well I'm promoting them but those things are all new to me I have mists now and I can use them and I really love using them so I have been using them on each and every layout that I created in the past few weeks so I had to use them here too the glorious da days wipes is a gold gold glimmer mist the colorings is just a flat brown one and now i stitched and i stuck down my background onto my border and since the cardstock wasn't i got it the cut cardstock i should have actually just glued it down before i added the mixed media because it warped and it was so hard to get it on straight and i wasn't able to um, do that really so the the final photos they are not straight because the whole layout is not straight and now I'm pulling a Missy um, I guess you all know Missy Widden she is my muse at the moment I'm not trying to copy her and as you can see I cannot copy her because I am not I cannot get those this uh, thread to ball up the way I like it and then I have a little bit glue on my finger later on and I just pull it out All of it. It just keeps sticking to my finger and I pull my finger away and it's just like coming out um, I'm working on my embellishments and Looking through all of the embellishments and die cuts that I have uh, that I might be using and While I do this I can tell you about the Missy thing. So I, she inspires me so much that I mean you can see the influence there I'm starting to dabble in mixed media I'm using mixed media on my backgrounds I'm stitching I'm using gold thread now I'm trying to um, um, use those thread balls that she use, often uses I'm not trying to copy her and I don't think I can because I'm still trying to be me all the while sh things that she does um, really well I like trying them too to see how they work for me and there is actually nothing wrong with trying things you can actually copy them too if you want to that's I think not me I really like being inspired by other people and when I watch a video by Missy I might not be um, inspired to do the exact same thing but when I watch her stuff it's like oh I could do something similar on this layout or with this project or there is something I want to try and I could just sit down with a notepad and a pencil while watching and yeah writing all of my ideas down so I always love watching her videos you should too I have started working on my clusters and I'm using this joy um, phrase die cut that 
came in the this is Marie Pierre Capistran's uh, collection with Pretty Little Studio. I somehow I forgot the name, but it's absolutely adorable. She did it all in watercolor, but um, the joy won't stay there. I do not have anything else to balance it out. I would have loved to have something on the top left corner there where we have those two stars. But there's nothing there. There's nothing that I can find to put there. And I, in the end, I I find a puffy sticker and I have a, a coordinating die cut for that. And so I will then remove the joy and put something else. But I'm sure since I still have to work in my December journal that I will be will be finding a place for that phrase as well. Or a word it's not a phrase okay so I rambled about Missy Widden I talked about the gorgeous collection from Marie Pierre Capistran and um, I'm adding stars and as you can see my whole layout warped really badly and I'm trying to get a grip on that and you can see I added this little what is it a deer head with the pine cone die cut. The die cut is from Coco Daisy and the deer head is from the December Days collection. And then I'm adding all of those tiny labels that were in the Coco Daisy November kits. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to stagger them all the way down to the title. And I had this a uh, puffy sticker that said Christmas song. I added it into this line as well and now I'm working on gluing down my whole title and I didn't make you watch this so I'm already done. Um, I found stars on the other alphabet sticker sheet. That's another exclusive from Coco Daisy. The reds of those two alpha stickers are not the same. One is a very bright red and the other one is a dark red. However, as you can see and as you know if you follow me, I really like tension and uh, I don't need my colors to match perfectly if they go together in my eyes. So it's not like they are too um, competitive. They work together in small doses and so I'm perfectly fine with putting down different shades of red on the same layout. And now I'm interspersing my journaling phrases with those, um, what are those, word stickers that came also, they are also from Pretty Little Studio, by the way, you should check out their shop as well. I was very, very surprised with the budget of $20 that I set myself, uh, how much um, stuff I was actually able to purchase from them. So yay, go check them out. Um, by the way, I'm not getting paid, <laughs> but they still have a coupon code for you. I will add that down in the description box below because when I contacted them that we were going to do this two girls on a budget, they kindly offered a coupon code for, I think, 10% off your order and to all of our subscribers. So I'm really happy to pass this on to you. I'm adding the A dots on the bear because in German we have different kinds of uh, letters and I needed those. I just cut down a plus and now I'm in the final stages of the layout. I'm adding a little bit more, I'm adding some more paint splatters, but this glorious day's wipes didn't want to uh, work the way I wanted to. Here you can see that I exchanged the joy for another deer and here is a close-up of my word strips and journaling tags. And yeah, the layout is done. I really loved experimenting and trying new things, pulling a Missy Widden. 
please check out all the other layouts that the awesome ladies from the Stuck Sketches design team created. We would love for you to play along. Link your finished layout in on the Stuck Sketches website to win awesome prizes. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, bye.